Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to go over my December paycheck number two budget and this is going to be for December 25th through January the 7th. All right, this is my very first debt-free budget, so I am really excited to break everything down with you guys now that we don't have any debt to pay off. All right, well, let's go ahead and break this budget down so you guys know how I'm going to be allocating my money. The first category is my income. Now, if you're new here, I am a salary employee. I'm paid bi-weekly, and my bi-weekly income is $1,700. So out of my paycheck, automatic things that are deducted before taxes and before I get it are things like health insurance, disability insurance, that kind of good stuff. Um, at this time, I am not yet contributing to a 401k. Moving on to my fixed expenses, my first expense is my rent. I am currently renting a basement apartment in somebody's home. It's kind of like a studio apartment. I have my own entrance, bathroom, that kind of good stuff. So I don't pay things like electricity, Wi-Fi, cable, uh, those kinds of things I don't pay for. Uh, my rent is a flat rate. And for the month, it is $900. Now, usually I break down my rent, um, you know, half on paycheck number one, half on paycheck number two. But since I wanted to be debt free as of December 11th, I did not set aside half of my rent. So I'll have to set aside, I'll have to pay my rent on the first and um, I'll need the entire $900 to do that. Next is Netflix. Um, I share a Netflix account with my son, soon to be daughter-in-law and my daughter. And I got to notice that Netflix premium is going up and the new premium is $18. I have a Hulu, which is similar to Netflix, just another streaming service that I share with my kids. And that is $12. I thought about getting, um, doing the Black Friday deal, which I think is Hulu for 99 cents per month, but my kids objected. <laughs> they like the ad free version, which is what I currently pay for. And I have to, if I watch Hulu, which isn't too terribly often, I, I personally don't like the ad. So I'm just going to continue to pay the $12 and did not take advantage of the Black Friday deal. Next expense is the dentist. I had a couple of fillings done, I don't know, probably two months ago, and I got a bill in the mail that uh, after insurance paid, I still owed $97, so I'll have that expense that I'll need to pay. And a last fixed expense is AT&T. This is my cell phone bill. It's an eight gig. Uh, pay-as-you-go plan, and it is $43. All right, let's add up my fixed expenses. So we've got $900 for my rent, $18 for Netflix, $12 for Hulu, $97 for the dentist, $43 for AT&T. Total fixed expenses for this paycheck is $1,070. Next are my cash expenses. The first expense is food, um, household. This includes toiletries, um, pretty much anything that I could buy at Walmart. Uh, typically, I shop just at Walmart. I don't, don't go to too many different stores, and I get everything there, including my makeup, because I, I just wear drugstore makeup. So anything I could possibly get at Walmart is in this particular category. And the budget is $120. So that is $60 per week. And um, if you're new here, 
I am single. My children are grown. They do not live with me, so I am an empty nester. So $60 per week for food, household toiletries, beauty, all that kind of good stuff is has been working really well for me for a long time. And um, I, I just, I don't go without and I am able to stick to my budget with very little effort. So $60 per week. Right, next category is fur babies and the budget for fur babies is $50. So $25 per week. And what I typically, what I use uh, fur baby category for is wet food, dry food for my puppy and my kitty. So my fur baby's budget covers wet food for my puppy and kitty. I am trying to wean them off of dry food, so I, I won't be purchasing that anymore, but I am trying to use up what I have left. Kitty litter, and then for my kitty, she gets her nails done uh, pretty often, about every four weeks. And this paycheck, I will need to have her nails trimmed and then have the soft paws cat caps put on her nails. Um, if you have a cat that scratches at furniture or carpeting, I love the nail caps. It has definitely saved the carpet here. Next is gas for my car, and I am about at a quarter tank of gas right now, so I am in a budget $30. I interviewed for a part-time job this last week. Uh, Walmart is hiring here locally. I applied for a part-time job to make a little bit of extra money uh, between now and the time I need to move by. So if you guys are interested, I am trying to work up a budget for moving. If you would be interested in seeing that type of a video, breaking down what, I, um, what I'm expecting the cost to be at move-in and how much I need to save, let me know down in the comments. I can definitely... Uh, film a video like that for you. All right, well, let's go ahead and add up my cash expenses. So it looks like I've got $200 here for cash expenses. Next are my sinking funds. I have three sinking funds that I'm currently contributing to. The first one is Christmas. I have a budget for Christmas uh, 2021 of $1,200. So I'm setting aside $50 per paycheck. So $50, uh, $25 per week. And Christmas budget is pretty much the same as it was this year. The only exception is that um, I will have a little bit of money to hit the after Christmas sales next year because I I want to get a tree and some decorations for Christmas of 2022. Uh, so I'll have, I don't know, I think it was maybe $150 to $200 that I'd have for decorations and the rest of the money, I think it was $800 or so, would go towards gifts. Next are my fur babies, and the sinking fund for fur babies is going to be for vet visits. And I'll set aside $20 as paycheck, $10 per week. Last category is gifts, and gifts is for Mother's Day, Father's Day, and any birthdays. And the budget is $30, so $15 per week. So we have $100 total for sinking funds. Uh, let's go ahead and take my income, subtract my fixed expenses, cash expenses, and sinking funds, and let's figure out how much I'm going to be able to save this paycheck. So my income is $1,700, and we're going to subtract my fix fixed expenses, which is $1,070 subtract my cash expenses of 200 and my sinking funds of 100 means I'll be saving $330 this check which is not too bad considering the fact that I am paying all of my rent this paycheck I'll get back to my normal budget next paycheck starting to set aside half of my rent uh, 
it is painful to pay that much all at one time. It I like having a larger amount to go towards um, debt or savings. It just makes me feel like I'm accomplishing a lot more. So 330 towards savings, which is pretty good. My savings goals is to save for um, an emergency fund and also for moving. Um, I'm doing those things. Everything is just going into one bucket. And then in January, I will um, hopefully have all of the things that I need to do taxes. And by the end of January, beginning of February, I'll know how much I need to pay in taxes next year and um, I'll start saving for that as well. But everything is just going into one big bucket uh, to pull from. And then after I get moved, if let's say I still need, you know, some money for taxes, then, you know, I'll start separating out savings from, from taxes at that time. But for now, just to keep it easy, we're just going to throw it all into one account. Um, well, I guess that is everything for this budget. Again, this is for paycheck number two in December. It is December 25th through January the 7th. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.